best of five. Hundred pounds a frame. A reminder that after points one, it goes on frames one. Mark Selby yesterday lost 3-2 to Stuart Bingham in his last match, but those two frames could come to his aid later, although Bingham played four matches, three of them went to deciders. He won two of them, two matches. The last one was Well, obviously attempting a thin contact, but not that thin. who will win this safety exchange. Selby won it in the first frame. Forced the error from Brussel and made a 70 break from it. Well, he has a chance at this red down the left-hand side. do nicely all a bit congested though around the black spot Well, he's just flicked the red off the black spot, so in potting it will go on its own spot.
tough group this for five players of the seven who won ranking events this season alone so it always looked a tough one to call but Selby brings the experience of winning big tournaments he brings his class as world number one and he needs to bring that to bear early on today to as I say try and climb that table he started the day sixth but that can change very quickly and of course some players the four players playing now in fact all played three matches the other three players in the group have played four matches so far so after this set of matches it will be a more accurate I think reflection of how the table stands Twenty-two. Well, that's helped open things up. This is a good scoring chance now. As I said, when he came to the table, it was all a bit congested that's around right. the black spot area, but now they're lying nicely. The black nicely on its spot, so... Selby closing in on 2-0 and this is an impressive start from the three times world champion Well, similar really to the first frame where he won the little safety battle and then went on to make a break. And signs are the same thing's going to happen here. It was 70 in the first frame. 53. There's plenty on here. He's up to 53. 49 the lead. Brussel can do nothing but watch and hope that Selby slips up but time's running out for the Belgian here in this frame and possibly in this match Pink just wriggled in wasn't absolutely clean and worth saying Brussel was 2-0 down last night to Judd Trump and 1-3-2 so 60. not over yet Trump had big breaks first two frames but Brussel fought back well 61 but this black puts Selby 64 in front, so red and a colour, and it's 2-0. 61. Seventy-five. Seventy-six. So the frames won. Can Mark Selby now make his first century break of 2019? No reason why not. Eighty-three. The highest break so far, one three seven. Judd Trump is a five hundred pound prize in each group for the highest break and Selby can beat that there's a possible 1-4-2 on that would be a great target for the highest break of the group 91 well he may be a little rusty yesterday after the Christmas break but my word he's clicked into gear sprung to life here 
hit the ground running. All the cliches apply on day two of group three. This red then, it's career century 545, 27 this season. 99. Just underlining how well he's playing this Tuesday morning. 100. Excellent stuff from Selby. I wonder if he's aware about the high break and what it is. Because there's a possible 1 4 1 if we were to take a one black here. Oh, that's what he's doing. Pretty switched on cell, but he may well know what he has to beat, which is 1 3 7 as it stands. Well, we've seen all sides of the game here. Mark Selby's superior safety, and then when the 19. chances have come along, he's taken them with big breaks in both frames. So, a new target for the highest break of the group. What a magnificent break. Not in trouble once, the whole break. Fantastic. Total clearance of 141 from Mark, Mark Selby. Selby. Just underlining how well he's playing here on day two of group three of the Championship League. Really excellent break. That, as I say, just no point was he in trouble. So, it takes a full grip on the match, leading 2 0, and he's just one more to win his second point from four matches. Match on the table two is Barry Hawkins against Karen Wilson. Wilson just winning the first frame there. So another tight group is shaping up. Of course, Hawkins and Brussel overnight, both on three points. Selby looking to get to two, and Wilson also looking to get to two in this session. Third frame. Look at Brussel to break. Well, Brussel has not really had much of a look in yet in this match, and time's running out. He's 2 0 down, and Selby is playing superbly. was Brussel's chance to get in first which is what Selby's been doing but he didn't take it not an easy pot particularly as he's had very little table time of course hasn't left the red blacks in the way and he'll be relieved about that
Well, there's no doubt Selby's safety play has been a factor in this match. It's been not been presenting Selby, uh, sorry, Brussel with any easy chances. He's not really seen an easy ball in the match. That's a good return, though, from Brussel. Well, we saw that Selby thought it was a good safety, kept tapping the table. And this time, Brussel has got an opportunity at this red to the far corner. Chance to get in, finally, in this match. And as I say, he's got to look back to last night when he was in this very s similar position against Judd Trump, 2-0 down after two big breaks. He turned that round and won 3-2. So, his first real chance to score in this match. 15. Luca Purcell's runner-up in Group 2 to Jack Mazowski. That match uh, wasn't even half an hour long, 27 minutes. Lost 3-0, but played well in that group and played well yesterday. Went through the day unbeaten. Approaching, of course, at day one of the Masters where he'll be kicking off against defending champion Mark Allen, who beat him in the first round last year. Looking for form and confidence going into that big, big match at the Alexander Palace in London. First things first, though, try and just get on the scoreboard in this match. 22. Well, he's now Six. severely hampered over the black, so that's not gone to plan. Could play the one to the right middle, but that's dangerous as well. There's one on the left-hand side, but they're all tough. So this is the first real crisis point in the break. He's taken this to the middle, but this is a must-get pot. Yeah, nicely done. 37. But he's slightly lost position on the next colour so the danger not over yet
going to be pink. Another big shot coming up. Oh, it's wide. It's wide. Never looked in that pink. And this red on the right-hand side does cut to the right corner. So Brussel leads by 37, but disappointed to break down. It went wrong previous shot when he left himself awkward on the red to the middle and then wasn't ideal on that pink. Chance for Mark Selby then, who's had breaks of 70 and a 141 total clearance already today. And where the balls are, this is a good chance, really good chance. Slightly overdid that one, so hence needing the rest for this next red. But potted it nicely. Again, Eight. just very slightly lost the cue ball. Just looking to get himself back into prime position here. don't think he's on a red here just flicked a red and well the one below the black but that's a thin cut may opt for safety Well, I took it on with safety in mind, and what a great shot. 60. So Selby back in business in this third frame as he looks to close out victory now. And if he did that, I think he'd be very satisfied with how he's played. He's made very few mistakes. Hardly any, really. 18. still come down to that red on the top cushion that's looking like a key ball now in this whole match and Selby's going to need it One. Pink put him in front, but as I say, this red on the cushion is going to be the key ball now. If it's tight to the cushion, then 
He's got a very good chance of potting it along the cushion if he gets in close behind it. Well, he's played to, to nudge it along the cushion. That was a bit of a risk, actually, and it's not worked. Got too full of contact on the red. 49. So hope for Brussel. There's 12 points in it, Selby in front. It's a nice idea, that, but it didn't work. Well, the cross double and the roll to the brown gives Brussel control of the frame. So how quickly things turn around. Selby a moment ago was looking good to close out victory. Now he snookered on the last red, which is the only safe ball. All the colours are invitingly placed, so can't afford to leave the red on. Is this hard enough? This looks a good attempt. Oh, has it hit it? Touching ball. Well, it has, it's touching. That's incredible. Could not adjust that any better. <laughs> no one knew for a moment till the referee, Brendan Moore, declared touching ball. Just got there. What an effort that was from Selby. This is a good shot, though, in return. Another snooker from Purcell. Well, it was a chance. It's a question now where it finishes, and it's going to be on for Luca Brussel. So he has a chance to win his first frame. A good chance. The green, the only slightly awkward ball here. got to get on this green and also of course pop the yellow <laughs> Five. he's done both of those things He's down to the pink to win his first frame. Selby's had chances for 3-0. Ten. Very confident pot on the brown. Just run a little far though for the blue. Still needs the pink as well. So coming round off three cushions and he's left himself pink from distance that 19. you'd fancy him to get but 
not guaranteed this, but it is to trail 2 1. Nicely done. That's a good clearance from Luca Purcell. Is this the start of a sustained comeback? Well, the main thing is he's on the scoreboard. He trails 2 1. Selby had a chance at a long, the long red, the last red. But also earlier on he was in and played that little cannon to the red on the top cushion and just caught it too full, which is why that break ended. So he's not made many mistakes, but they have cost him in this frame. And Brassell closes the gap. On table two, as you can see, Karen Wilson is leading Barry Hawkins 2-0. Hawkins uh, off to a fly yesterday. Made, I think, three centuries in total. And won three matches out of three to top the group. But Karen Wilson, who uh, won one out of three, is in a strong position so far. Yeah, three centuries for Hawkins. Two of them came against Selby in his first match. Back-to-back -back breaks of uh, 120. Judd Trump's had two centuries as well. Mark Selby, of course, the highest so far in this match, 1-4-1. One, one. Stuart Bingham's had two, and Luca Purcell also has had one. There is a £500 prize, as I mentioned earlier, for the high break. But Selby at the moment, we're more concerned about this match because he had a chance to win it 3 0, but it's now 2 1, frame 4. Frame 4. Mark Selby to Yeah, it was obviously a mistake from Bussell to leave that on, and Selby is on the yellow. Strength of character is, has long been one of Mark Selby's fortes, and he won't be thinking, well, I should have won it 3 0. He'll just be focusing on this frame Great. now and this chance, this opening in frame four. Well, that is a surprise. Wasn't making those sort of errors in the first couple of frames. Cell not punishing and that is a uh, disappointment for him he had a chance immediately to counter-attack I think he's covered the red to the green pocket but even so 
he'd be annoyed to miss that red and punish the Selby Miss Black. Well, he's taking a risk playing it like that because there's always a chance that the table can drift slightly and that was his concern although it's not that bad I think he thought it was going to roll off and leave the red to the left corner <coughs> but there is a red through the gap that goes to the right corner <coughs> Selby I think will redouble his efforts what? now having missed that black earlier to try and cut out the mistakes but of course in missing the black it's gone into bulk which is not a lot of use there at the moment Well, the pink may go, although there's not much of a gap to get through to it. He could play for the blue, then the red in bulk, then the black, get it back on its spot. All these options are available to him. Play for the pink. Seven. This will just help open things up a little bit. Well, Brussel played that slow roll, but he left a red on. Straight's really the worst way to be. Either side of the blue, he's got reds to play for. We now have a slight angle here. See Brussel there in the background keeping tight watch, wondering if he's going to get back to the table here. But at some stage, Selba's going to have to attack the cluster of four reds. Well, it's gone too far for the red in bolt. That's a mistake. 33. A misjudgment from the world number one. And now the far more difficult red to the left corner. 
43 the lead. Maybe this is Brussels' chance to get back into the frame. Or maybe not. Selby's knocked in an excellent red. Now, if it gets high on the blue, he can play into the cluster. Low on the blue, he can play for the red in bulk. So it's low, so he'll play for the red just by the green. This time, trying not to snooker himself on it. Now then, into the cluster off the green. Just needs to get on a red and the match should be over. Well, he's caught the pink as opposed to the reds. 53 in front, still 67 on. Not quite as intended. That wanted to get into the pack and split them, but just caught the pink. He's looking at all sorts here, plants. Cannons. He's looking to pop this red off the one just below it. Well, no, just a safety. He did look at whether there was a plant or where the reds would finish. But in the end, a safety. So 53 the lead. 67 available. Selby in the driving seat. One mistake from Purcell, it could be match over. Nice safety from Selby. He's got that red reasonably safe near the left-hand side cushion as well. So he's holding all the aces here for sure. It took some thinking about it. He's played it well. Meanwhile, Carl Wilson's beaten Barry Hawkins 3-0. So Hawkins' his first defeat. In fact, uh, he only scored seven points in the whole match. Wilson's second victory out of four. So it's made things a bit closer at the top. And, of course, Selby looking to do exactly the same. Win his second out of four and the Brussel three out of four.
Well, again, and this happened in the last frame. Selby took a long red on and missed it. Just opening the door for Brussel and they all pot here. The take some sorting out. He's 53 behind, but he's got a chance. Uh, might have to be yellow. It's not going to be easy to get to the reds from the green. Lost position, but still in the match, although that's not the best shot. Catching the brown, sits down a little bit annoyed with himself. This is about one good pot. If this goes in, Brussel can only tie, and that's without a colour. Still, though, not in. So Selby just not quite able to kill this off yet. have run safe though like he can see the potting angle so once again it's effectively match ball really and this time it is in and uh, just a colour and Purcell needs snookers Selby started very impressively breaks of 70 and a, a 141 the highest so far a total clearance could have won 3-0 this frame's been a bit scrappier but of course he got the lead and there's the handshake Mark Selby wins his second match then in Group 3 of Championship League Snooker. The world number one needed to make a good start today. That's exactly what he's done. So he's two out of four. Brussel still in good shape, three out of four. This group, though, has got a lot closer. Of course, Wilson also moving up to two points. So Selby, who started the day sixth, has made a little climb. And we're looking to do similar later this afternoon. Be a little break now. Luca Brussel will be back out. And he's up against Stuart Bingham.